In this fun problem, we have a circle that's stuck inside a square. In other words, inscribed. That means that the circle fits perfectly inside the square and touches it at these four points. And our goal here is to find the area of that circle and then find the area of the shaded region. By shaded region, what they mean, of course, is this region right here plus this region right here, just lightly shading it in, here and here. So let's talk about how to do that. In this problem, I'm going to estimate pi as 3. They don't tell us how they want us to estimate the number, but um, since they're giving us a choice, I'm going to leave it nice and friendly. Of course, pi is not equal to 3, but I'm rounding it down, right? Pi is approximately 3.1415926, you know, and so forth. We can round it down to 3. To find the area of a circle, what do we do? Well, typically we find the radius, multiply it by the radius, it's called the radius squared, and then multiply that by pi. So let's find the radius. Well, we have a square here, right? We're told we're given a square, and we can see that because this is 4. Let me, let me highlight that again. This is 4, and so is this. And if we know that length, doesn't that also mean we know this length right here? Right? This vertical line and this one are the same length. And that length is 4. And now in terms of a circle, if this is 4 units, that means the diameter is equal to 4. Because remember, the diameter is a line that goes across the circle and through the center. And we're halfway there, right? Because if we know the diameter, we can find the radius. The radius is just half the diameter. Or you can see it here is half the diameter. So if we know the diameter is 4, the radius has to equal 2. And now we can find the area. Using this equation, 2 times 2, or radius times radius, times pi gives us an area of 4 pi square units, right, because we're finding a square area. So units, you can write square units as units squared. And that doesn't mean the whole equation squared, it just means we're finding an area or a flat surface, and, and that just means, of course, that we're finding how many squares fit on that area. But we're estimating pi is 3, so that means we're saying the area is about 12 square units or units squared. Okay, so that's our area of our circle. How do we find the area of the shaded region? Well, I'm going to say that what we should do is subtract the area of the circle from the total area of the square. In other words, if we find the area of the square, which is just 4 times 4, or 16 square units, and then we subtract 12 from it, we're going to get the shaded area. Right? That's going to give us four square units, or units squared. And the idea, of course, is just that if we have a square, if I'm the whole area, it would cover everything here. But then if we cut out this circle or subtract it, we're left with the shaded region, and then we're done. So I would say that the area of the shaded region is four square units, which is interesting because notice the side length here is four. So I encourage you to play with problems like this. If you're given a square length, side length of four, and a circle that's inscribed, do you always think that the area of the shaded re region will equal the length of the side of the square? Right here, the that side length is four, and our, the area of the shaded region is also four. That's something fun to think about. All right, hope this helps.